David, how are you? Very well, sir. How are you? Great to connect with you again. Yes, sir. You too. Sorry about last time. I just, for some reason, David, uh, Kartra is not sending me an email giving me an hour heads up or anything. You might want to check your system and make sure other people's not getting that same type of situation going on. Very, very weird. Um, yeah, okay, I'll definitely see. So in, in this case, let me kind of just walk you through how, how I would check that. So okay. as we're in, in Karcher, I would click on my calendars to the left, and then I would come up here to agenda and click on agenda. And this would just give me a list of all my scheduled appointments. And then what I can do is I can just simply click on the name. Uh -huh. And then come over here to, I could check so many different things. I could check, well, here's their profile. I could check what list they're on. I could check um, any communications, like the, the actual log. So um, what was sent out, what wasn't. This is um, communications. And then I can check if they're on an actual sequence, which is the email autoresponder. Um, I can see if they're part of a membership. And then calendars, transactions, log. What I normally do is I'll, I'll click on log and then this right here, this will show me if the email was sent. So this, this, it, it might've went to spam. This is the email it's going to up here oh. in the top left. Oh. So this right here. That is or, weird. I'm yeah. checking, I checked my spam the other day and uh, I didn't see it. It should have sent another one today, shouldn't it? Yes, sir. It should have um, actually based on this, it says email sent the calendar reminder on May 9th at 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, and then it will also say if it was opened. So just like below here in open open email on May 6th, it will also tell me if it was opened. Uh -huh. So that's a good thing about this system. It tracks it tracks all the activity with a specific lead. But um, yeah, for, that's kind of weird that you don't you don't see it on your end. Um, yeah under my spam right at the moment and uh, maybe if you go up to um, just the search bar like are you in Gmail yeah yeah right at the very top you can search for any mail um, if you type in maybe if you type in zoom zoom in one hour see if you could type that in and see if you if you received that subject line okay today. Let's see what we get. Um, nothing. That's very strange. That is weird. Um, yeah, this was, and and then you can open it up and see see the email. So this was this was the one that would have been sent out. You would have received this one, and this is the email subject. Um, yeah, I apologize. Let me double check it. And save because that's really important for the both of us oh I yeah for sure i don't want to mess up uh, any appointments i know you've got a busy schedule and uh i want to be able to keep my appointment <laughs> yes sir i appreciate it yeah for sure no i have i have time i cleared out my calendar and i got some time over the next few days um i know I'll your stuff i mean almost every day now i try to catch on I built a little uh, 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 page there in Carter the other day, and I'm learning a little about a little, but uh, good. Anyway, I wanted to kind of uh, mention something to you. I uh, we have a couple of things in common. I bet. Uh, one thing is uh, I used to be a real estate investor several years back. Wow. If you go to youtube.com uh, forward slash Marlon Celine, you'll see one of my old uh, videos. I'm gonna, I'm thinking about kind of getting back into it, David. Marlon, I'm telling you, you need to. I, I would highly, I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to, to uh, do it. See if you can find, uh, yeah, there you go. I want you to see this little video. Uh, there it is. 
Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, should be, no, that's, that's the wrong YouTube account. Should be, type, just type in uh, youtube.com forward slash Marlon Salee. There you go. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. Play that video. See the video of that? There you go. The other thing, David, is I used to live in San Clemente. Gotcha. Okay. I was okay. in the Marine Corps in, in uh, San Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually about, I live, I li well, I, I live and I, I grew up my entire life about i would say maybe 30 minutes south really yeah i'm in i'm in san diego so wow. san clemente and and um and um camp pendleton you oh. know that's about a, a good 30 minute drive from yeah. where i'm at but i i passed there probably two billion times my entire life so yeah i'm very familiar with that area i love that area i love you know wow. just driving on the five and 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 getting the the view of the coast you know i i just yeah. I, I love that area. Yeah, it's, I miss it. Any circumstances may be or why you need to sell. Residential property investors can help. We work with all types of situations like foreclosure, divorce, moving out of state, job loss, or just simply behind on payments. Residential property investors can offer a win-win solution to your home selling needs. Together, we can finally get your home sold. For an appointment, call Residential Property Investors today. Really cool. Pretty neat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I love it. That's really cool. So this well, is your channel. I'm going to call the phone company uh, Monday morning and see if I can capture my old number and still be able to use that uh, uh, little video there. And uh, uh, I already know I can get my domain name back, residentialpropertyinvestors.com. But see, David, I lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm. And uh, for about 15 years, I bought and sold houses. I you know, bought them, rehabbed them and resold them. At one time I was doing, uh, you know, I bought and rehabbed fast enough to do five a month. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you know, I, I bought and sold over probably, I don't know, 750 houses. Wow. But uh, what I'd like to do is get together with you and kind of kind of what you're doing for the real estate agents, you know, and uh, do it in, a, in an investor type direction for me. But uh, I'm not a licensed real estate agent or broker, and I don't ever intend to be. But mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I might get back off into that if you can kind of help me with uh, some uh, Facebook ads, you know, that, that I'm available to buy you know, homes in any condition, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. If you were to, if you were to take videos like this, like, let's just say, let's just say we have, I would say five, five different videos like this, which you can easily get produced five simple videos like this. And, and we just, we just had them in circulation every month. Yeah. Who, but, can, help who can help me do the videos? What's that? Who could help me do the videos? Oh, I have, I mean, you can easily go on to, to different web pages. I can, I can direct you onto a, a few different websites where you can hire people in different countries that are absolutely the best of the best in just video editing, oh, video design. Great. And you can hire these folks for a few bucks to do now, simple that guy, videos. That guy that did that video for me, that's actually one of my houses back mm -hmm. behind that, that scene there. And, um, I think it cost me three fifty. He came out, and of course I had the van, and you know, as a little uh, mobile billboard. <laughs> yeah, you uh, can, you can, um, and again, that's 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 three fifty to an individual. And, and granted, that was years ago, but at the same right. time, at the same time, that was an individual in the U.S. charging USD, 
right? Charging, you know, what the rate is in this country. But when you reach out to people that have that skill level in different countries, which I, I can direct you to a, to a website that allows you to hire people in, in different countries with that exact skill for a fraction. And so, yeah, point, well, we'll just get together and do that. I mean, do I need to, to reproduce a, like a, a different uh, Facebook business page, YouTube business? Yeah, you'd want to you'd you'd want to kind of, and that's the thing. What what I would highly recommend because I know you got your 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 hand in a, in a few different you know buckets right now, um, and and you're doing a few different things. I would I would, I mean again I I would I would go in all I would go all in on one, like either either we're gonna go all in, and 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 trust me, I believe in multiple streams of income for sure. Sure. But at the same time, when it comes to now let's just say, for example, a, a, a budget, a, an advertising budget, a, a, a Facebook advertising budget, when it comes to, you know, now, now actually focusing in, because what we would do with these videos are not just post them on YouTube. Like right. with YouTube, 10 years ago, we got 150 views. If I ran that as a Facebook ad, right. I'd be getting 1500 views a day. Oh, wow. That's the difference. And then, and then if I had that as a Facebook ad, getting 1500 views a day, and people are clicking on it and they're going over to my Kartra page where they're entering their name and email. That's the game changer. I got you. But my point is, is that going in on one campaign, going in on one project is what I would recommend. So either we're going to go all in with this new idea or we're going to go all in with, with your, 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 um, fact, your manufacturing homes, the, the garages that you have, or you're going to go all in with on passive you know what I mean? So there's, you have a handful of different things that you can, you, you obviously want to well, want to pursue, but. Well, let me, let me kind of bring you up to speed on uh, what you just mentioned. Can you go back to my culture account for a moment? And I'll uh, kind of focus on two things only for now. And then when on passive goes live, then we can add that to the mix. Okay. Uh, the main thing would be, what I actually make good money with every day, which would be Salee portable buildings. Or, yeah. You know, wooden portable buildings. But what you're seeing on Carter there is something that I jumped into not knowing enough about, uh, you know, about uh, Carter in general, not knowing enough about, uh, you know, internet marketing a whole mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to jump out of this deal with these people next week and focus on what I make money with every day, mm -hmm. which is the metal garage buildings and or the wooden and portable buildings. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, can you see a, uh, a page that I saved, which is the first one there, Shed View Design. I built that yesterday. And okay. kind of watching one of your videos back and forth there a little bit. Um, okay. So here, here's what I would do um, as I, as I go into a page, as I start a new page, as I, you know, click on my pages to the left and then come over here and click the green button to uh, even, you know, to even get one up. What I always do right away is as I open up that page, uh, I always want to categorize everything. Sure. So, so right here, is this worth, is this the right category that you wanted in sales page? Not really. I just picked something because I didn't know yeah. what it was. Yeah. Ah. So let's, let's categorize this and let's just kind of get on, on a good habit of, of categorizing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this shed view design. Let's create a whole new category for it. Um, that way. And, and the reason for it, the reason why you would do this is because as you come into your pages to the left and we come over here, we're logging in for the first time. We want to, we want to see what's going on. By default, Kartra shows you all categories. So by default, we're seeing everything that's going on in multiple different projects, right? So it could just get a little confusing if I'm looking for one specific well, one. Believe it, or not, believe it or not, all of that that's on there is one project other than, uh, scroll down just a little bit, other than what you built for me right there with on Facet, those two pages. Okay. Okay. Everything else is uh, that other company 
and uh, they're building it in their charger and just bumping mm -hmm. it over to mine. Okay. So you I, notice when, with these two pages, I put it in the category of residual preneur. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So now I can just come over here, click on residual preneur, and now I can just oh, focus on these. Right, right. Right? So if you want to, you can uh, uh, change that other one over into there too. Yeah, let's just, let's just get that all, all over and, and um, into one. So I'll, I'll click on the three dots. I'll click on edit. And then I'll hit this manage my categories to create a, a new. We'll put that. You want to put that in the same one or you want to create a, a different one for that one? Uh, we can create a different one for that. Yeah, let's call this one. Um, well, we're going to have to have two, David. One would be portable buildings and the other ones would be metal buildings. Is it all under the same company? Yes. Okay, so let's just put it all. I mean, we could put it all under the same company name, or we can create two for sure. It's totally up to you. Uh, yeah, we can put it all in the same company. It's it's all within Salib Portable Buildings. Okay, so now. So in other words, we've got two products in Salib Portable Buildings that we're going to be working on doing. As far as Facebook ads, we might uh, rotate them or whatever. Like one week we'll do the wooden portable building, and the next week we'll do the uh, uh, metal buildings. Okay. So now I got sales page. I can hit that drop down. I can look for that category. There's that category. Now I can just focus on on everything in that one category. Gotcha. So let's now open up the page. Yeah, we'll keep uh, on pass and separate. Okay. And then, and then let me point out what I, what I normally do first step, right. When I open up a brand new page, um, there, there's a, there's a handful of things that I'll make sure that are in place before I even mess with everything. That's um, kind of what I need you for, David. <laughs> yes, sir. It was easy to build that little page to me. It was fairly easy, but synchronizing all that I'm well. You're actually to tell you the truth. You're, 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 you're closer than, than you know. And, and, and I, I'm, willing to bet you probably haven't been on many of the training calls or really plugged in yeah see so if you were to just i watch your videos a little bit that's it this is good see this is good man this right here i'm telling you marley marlin this right here would you'd crush it if you had facebook ads going straight to this page you'd be capturing some interested people uh -huh. this well, is really good the reason i started out with this one david and built it that's just a, a little video explaining to the customers how they can go in and custom build their, their portable building on their own. In other words, the, the caption. Yeah. Oh, why, why buy just any building when you can, you know, build a custom building. Oh yeah. And see what, uh, what, what could be used, what I would do a little, a little change, a little edit uh, uh, um, is I would just simply have videos like this as uh, the ad. So, right. so this video is the actual Facebook ad. Right. When they get here, when they click on the ad, all they're going to do here is see an image. I don't need them to see another video. Okay. They already seen that video at, on the ad. They were interested. They clicked on the ad. I brought them here and right here could be a nice image of, okay. of a, of a prop of, of the actual shed. Now let me get you an image right quick. Can you hang on just? Yeah. Yeah. Send me that. Send me that image. An image. We'll stick it in there. You're gonna like this image. Perfect. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna email it to you in just a second. Find the image. Where'd you go, image? Oh yeah, here it is. Face. I got it marked as Facebook ad number one. Perfect. <clears throat> See now for the ads, for the actual ads, it's it's a, it it would be really really good if we have video. Right. So, if if we have video rather than image, I mean image image can work too. But if you but this right here, this is this is this is the golden goose right here. If you can create more videos like this one, you would crush it. Right. Okay. Well, that's uh, where those people are going to come in that you mentioned earlier on doing a video for. Uh, 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 in the house investing. Yeah.
Okay. I just shot it to you. Okay, let me take a look. I think you'll like that image. You know, there's, there's just some, something kind of funny about the way people make money these days. You know, there's, there's certain ways of making money and then there's better ways of making money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Investing, I've always did real well in that. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you think about the image, by the way? I love it. I love it. Let me show you how I, how I, how I put it in. Sure. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So a as I was going to show you the very first thing that I, that I do when I open up a new page is I make sure that up here, as you see the, your Facebook, can you see my tabs up here at the top? Yes. Okay, we got your Facebook tab, and then we have the, the Gmail tab. It says Photo Inspired Digital. But the tab, that is a title. So Marlon Saley, that's, that's the title of the tab. So just like you with your pages, you have a title. As someone opens up this page, they see a title. So for example, let me show you the title that is currently there. And it's, it's there by default because that's what you named the quote unquote page. When you, when you, when you set up the page, you name the page. Um, and that's the shed view. I think it's shed view design is what you named it. But by default, that name also remains in the tab. And I want to change it because as people. I didn't pull the tabs at the top right and at the bottom left because I didn't know what I was doing with that at all. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm going to show you right now. See, so here's my point is that up here is the title of the tab. So that's what the public sees when uh, they, when they, when they, when they're on your page. Uh, so, so that could be a good title. I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just pointing it out just so you know, you know how to change it should you want to change it. But that, that's an actual good title right there. Shed view design. Yeah, I thought it went perfect with what we're doing. On yeah, that. perfect. So you name the page that, but then also in settings, if we come over here to settings, we click on SEO parameters, that's where I would change the title. So if I wanted to say something different when the general public is on that page, then I could change it right there. I got you. And then as you take that page and you share it on social media, as you share it on social media, there's an image that pulls up. So if you took that link and you put it on LinkedIn, or if you shared that link on Facebook, there's an image that will show. And so we want to make sure that that image is a good image. So right now there's no image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to include the image that you just sent me and people on Facebook, they'll not only see the link that you're sharing, but they're going to see an image as well. And that image will be this one. Now, let me, let me back you up on something uh, to get it straight in my mind. Um, not to lose your train of thought there, but shouldn't we go on uh, uh, buy a different domain name to use other than residualpreneur? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. In this, with this particular case, yeah, for sure. Um, and what do you suggest? Name cheap? Or something like that I'll no what what i can do is i'll i i go i go through godaddy i've been i've been buying domains through godaddy for for literally 20 25 years right. um so godaddy is what i would recommend it's called direct nick what's that direct nick.com what's that's the domain you're thinking of yeah, no no it's the, the the website address for all the domain names that i buy Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You can get it there if you want you wherever, if, if you already have a, a place that you get them all, get them there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's fine. I need yeah. A from you on it. Um, yeah. No, wherever, wherever you're already getting them. If you, yeah, for sure. You can get it there, but yeah, you'd, you, you, you could, you could use a different one, but then again, you don't, you don't necessarily need it. I mean, it, it's up to you, totally up to you, but, but well, I would, I would get one for sure. I can mask it to where, they don't see residual veneer. They see. Yeah. 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 That'd be, that'd be, yeah, that'd be smart. So you could do that for sure. So I changed it. I didn't change the, the, the tab, the title and the tab. So that's fine. We left it there. Um, but then also over here in settings, 
um, and this might be too much because this might be what I'll be helping you with, which is all the Facebook advertising. But this right here is where the Facebook tracking would go. So the fa oh, so once we do start running ads to this page, yeah. then right here is where I would put the Facebook tracking code, which is your Facebook uh, pixel. And that would go right there. So now Facebook starts tracking who is landing on this page. I got you. Um, now, what I did, David, on this is I picked out a template thinking I was going to run a video. Okay. So yeah. We're going to change that, take the video off, put the photo yes. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to X this out okay. and then I'm going to, um, actually, and then if I mess up, I can always hit undo. Sure. Um, and that would bring back this, but it's right below why buy. Okay. So let's X this out and then I'm going to come over here to the sections and it's either sections or components. It's components. Okay. So I'm going to come over here to components. I'm going to grab an image and I'm going to simply just drag it, drag it over. Um, where's the image? There's images right here. Okay, so I'm going to drag this image over and I'm going to drop it sure. right below. And then, yeah, this is where I would put the image. So let's now, grab. Well, we're building on both directions, either it being a portable building or a metal building. We'll be utilizing the same thing every, every month, every week, or whatever we do. I'm probably going to do something every week, but uh, what I'm trying to say to you is we're not going to have to change this particular one hardly at all, other than maybe changing the videos up that were run for the ad. Yeah, very good question. This page is going to stay the same. Right, but like on the other page, we're going to build for the for the the metal buildings. You know, we can keep the same template, but just simply mm -hmm. change out the yep. photo every yep. other time or what have you. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. You could totally and do that. That particular page, David, I, I would like it to look exactly like your page you've got where you've uh, got the picture of the listing in the background and the kind of see-through uh, verbiage thing in the center. Okay, so I have um, I have a few different ones. Let me let me show you. So one, this is for for any obviously an agent who has a listing. Yeah. Right. So they're they're coming yeah. here. That's it. Yeah. There's there's a there's a image in the background, <laughs> um, and then and then also the difference is too is that when when they click on the button, then they also see the image in the background is very tainted, right? Sure. So right. there's that example, and then. Um, Here's another example. Um, there's that image, you know, well, for my image is going to be as elaborate as that, but uh, no, yeah, but yours will still be still be good. I mean, you have a ton of ton of good ones, but um, let me see if I can pull them. types of buildings that make. I mean, I've got one that we'll start off with that uh, doing advertisement on Facebook marketplace, like I've been doing, which is free or whatever, but you know, uh, there's one particular building that everybody hit on all the time. Mm -hmm. That's shaking me to death on it. <laughs> so I finally wrote up a little script and just copied and pasted to each person every time. Okay. I didn't have to sit there and just, you know, uh, uh, text with them back and forth so much. Okay. So we need something else in this page too, by the way, which is um, I need to be able to capture these people's uh, info. Yes. So here's what I'm going to do. And also here's another thing that I would recommend is I wouldn't put these buttons at the top. Right. I just um, confused me. And, and, and the only reason why it's, it's good, like the way, I mean, obviously it was the template, so it was already there, but we can delete anything. And, and the only, the only reason for that stuff would be great on your website, which you already have a website, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. Everything on the top there, even the button can be deleted. Yeah. So all that could be deleted. So all I'm going to do is, is go, come here, click on this X and that's going to take off that top column. Sure. So we'll just delete I'll that. Put the gun on you a little bit and uh, threw that together yesterday. What's that? I said I would just jump the gun on you a little bit for today's meeting and uh, threw that together for you. <laughs> oh, no, this is perfect. This is really good. I like it. I like it. It's simple. It's clean. 
and and it's straight to the point. Um, I really, really like it. Yeah, it's see good. that uh, Bonanzig button right there, power play, that's live. Which one? Oh, this power play right here? It's live. If you click on that, it's, it takes you right to the page where you can uh, get financing. Okay, perfect. So um, what I would do, and, and the whole reason for it is the when it comes to Facebook ads, we want to take them to this one page where there's literally only one thing to click on, one button. Exactly. So the power play, I would maybe include that on the thank you page. Okay. So, so after they click on design your building now, yeah, they click on that. Then they go to a thank you page. And on that thank you page, we have right. an, a, a financing option. Right. Well, we'll leave it like it is, but unconnected. Yes. Just un, unlink it. So what I'll do is I'll just simply click on this right here. Is it this that's linked? Right. That's what's linked. Okay. Unlink. So I'll just unlink right here. Okay, so now now it's not linked anymore. Then I'll come anytime I make a change to a page, I'll always make sure I say progress. Gotcha. I'll, I'll do that every every so many every few minutes just to save the damn thing, you know, right. so I don't lose anything. Um, so that's perfect because again, I don't want them to click on this and then all of a sudden they're 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 applying for financing when I haven't even got their lead yet. True. Right. So. And the only reason, if it was just a random website and I'm sending folks there just for random information and I'm not paying for people to go there, then okay, great. Click on everything about us. Click on contact us, meet the team, all these different options. But, but if I'm running a Facebook ad, I need the attention on one button and, and that's to give up your name and email or phone number, you know? So yeah, perfect. So we'll unlink, unlink that. When they click on design your building now, then that's when a pop up will come up where they yes. put their information in there. So we yes. need to we need to build that, and we need to build a thank you page, and we need to build a uh, an appointment page. It, Do we perfect. really need the visa and stuff down there at the bottom? What's that? Do we really need that credit card information? Logo down there? Or not? Um, no, not I wouldn't. I I wouldn't show it right now. We could, we could show that later. Like we could show that on, on the thank you page. Right. Exactly. So down here, what I can do is I can, um, I learned a lot from your videos, by the way. <laughs> oh man. Thanks Marlon. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I'll, um, I'll delete that back, that bottom part. And then, and then now you see this drag a drop component. It's because it's there. It's still an open space. So, so if we're going to leave it, we're supposed to drag over a component over here. So if I click on components to the left, it could be a, a headline, it could be a text, it could be a button, it could be an image that I put there. But if I don't want anything there, which I don't, I just click on this red button over here and I'm gonna X this bottom section out so, so it can bring everything closer together. So if I X that out, um, actually, let me undo it. Here's what I, here's, here, here's what I wanna, wanna show you. Um, um, actually it didn't let me un undo that part. That's fine. I'll, sh I'll just bring it back. But what it took away also is it took away the copyrights and the, um, and the social media icons. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, <clears throat> I'm going to click on settings or yeah, sections to the left. And I'm going to just simply bring over a footer. So I'll just bring back what you had there already. Sure. So I click on sections. It's either sections or components. That, that's where you're going to spend all your time. It's sections and components. It's rarely styles or sites or even pop-ups or alert bar. It's really, you're going to spend your time in, in sections and components. Um, let me. Man, my internet's a little slow. I like a little slogan there transforming your shopping from brick and mortar to click and order. I love that, man. I love that. Really cool. Okay. So tell them what to do in, you know, in a roundabout way. Hello people. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> See, and, and something, something happened with my connection here. And that's why, that's why, that's a huge reason why I always click save and progress. Let me see if I can refresh this page. Go ahead.
man. I think because I clicked, I clicked the undo button too many times and it froze it. Dang it. Well, just log out, log back in and see where you're at at that point. Yeah. Let me, um, it's no biggie. We can fix whatever. Let me get back to it. It shouldn't have, yeah, that page should still be somewhat. Well, aren't, you glad, aren't you glad the computer can hang on to your call, your uh, login information? Right. <laughs> you lost yeah. this without that. Makes everything much easier. Right. So let's see how much of, of this I lost. Let me see. Um, <laughs> okay, so, okay, so we got the image still. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this part right here. And then, and then what I did is I ended up hitting up, hitting this red button. I X'd it out and it took away everything at the top. It took away the about us, the contact us, the privacy, which I actually want to keep. Like I want to keep this down here. Um, and that's why I didn't need it at the top. But, but if I hit the X, it deleted everything, even the social media icons, even the copyrights. So for me, for, 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 for me not to lose that part, what I can do is I can come up here to the top and I can click on columns. Right. And rather than deleting the entire section, it'll allow me to delete specific parts of the section, which is columns. I so if I go into the columns mode, I can see right here the section. This section is the blue. I can either delete the pink, which is the inside, or I can delete the entire, the entire bottom section, which is the blue. So if I click on this X, there's that part I want to delete it. So I come up here, say progress. I always want to say progress and then let's get rid of the visa real quick. We can get, so, so now I, I want to go back into components because if I leave, if I stay in columns, then this is the view that it's showing me. I can, I can delete or I can edit from this view, but I don't want the entire columns i want the components i want to work each one micro i want to micro manage each 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 section so now i can go back into components right. now i can hover over and just x out of this part sure so that's that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create let me just put something here for now but we click on the button and the way it's set up now do is we even, david do we even need 100 percent privacy um, yeah, I, I'd leave it. Okay. I'd leave it. It makes it makes folks, you know, a little bit more comfortable when they, when right. they know you're not going to spam them. Right. You know, so in this case, it's a normal button that's right here. So when you put a button on any page, you can pretty much send anyone anywhere by clicking on it. So I can send them to another Karcher page. I can send them to an to a an external URL, which is like I if they click on that, they go to my Facebook page. That's I can send them wherever. Yeah. yeah. But, but it, obviously, in this case, I want to send them to an opt-in form. So that's the button I'm going to click on. Right, and then all, all these different templates. Cool, it's cool. I like it. So now I can just grab, you know, any template. I was shooting them to the, to the, uh, the, the actual uh, configurator or the shed builder. But we need this in there first. Yeah, we need the opt-in form. So we want them to opt in first. Um, so I'm going to drop, I'm going to click, I'm going to drag, and I'm going to drop it right there. Right. And then I can just change out these. I'll change out these, these, this, this verbiage here. Sure. Um, but then also I have, now this is, this is the actual form. But what I have to do is I have to hover over this bottom part and I have to connect this to an actual form. So now I have the form template but now as they enter their name and email, what form are they going to? The form is what's going to determine what quote unquote list they me, go on. Let me email that to you, okay? So the form, do we have a form set up yet? We don't have a form set up yet. So what we can do is I can create a form and okay. this form is going to be called 
which which is the name of the campaign. So, what did we name the page? We named the page "Shed View Design." Or what do we name the category? Uh, Let's just go with "Shed View Design." I forgot. We'll go with "Shed View Design" because that's that's the form. That's the, that's, the, that's the page, so we'll just name it the same. I try to keep everything uniform. Right. You can so go I'm gonna, later, David, if you want to, and uh, figure out what that category was. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, 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 I'll get it done for sure. So there's the form. So once we update the form, and the reason why it's showing red error is because whenever someone comes to a landing page, they enter their name and email in the form – once they click on submit, then they're going to a thank you page. The right. reason why we're seeing an error is because we don't have a thank you page yet. Because the form, Karcher wants to know, okay, once they fill out this form, where do we take them next? Right. That's the thank you page. So all we got to do is set up a thank you page. And I'll, I'll be able to do that for you later on. I'll set up a thank you page. I'll set up the calendar. I'll set up the, the, thank, the calendar thank you page. I just need to do the link, baby. The link for what? Uh, where they're finally going to the final destination. The thank you page? Uh, no, take a look at what I emailed you. Okay. It's, it's the page they go to to actually build their building. Gotcha. That link is what I would put on the thank you page. Right. So as they opt in, I take them to a thank you page a Karcher page, thank you page, and then right below, I would put something like, click here to start your building process or something like that. Right, right. And then when they click on it, then yes, then they go to this link that you sent me. Right. Oh, we need a calendar or a, an appointment. Yeah, we'll set it all, Yeah, I'll set up the calendar. I'll be able to set that calendar up for you. <laughs> just um just email me later on email me your schedule i'm wide open just okay so you know what I know. perfect so yeah so on the thank you page it could be a button click here click here to start the building process or whatever you know and then yeah and then they click and then they come they come to this page right here perfect perfect Okay, so let me let me save when, this page. When we do the Facebook ads, as far as uh, who we're going to approach on this, is anybody in the state of Arkansas or Oklahoma? Oh yeah, that I mean, we we could target whoever you want to target. Well, we don't want to target too young of people. Yeah. But we want we want to focus on those two states, and maybe. Uh, Age-wise, men, uh, preferably, because women are not going to buy these things. Yeah, just um, email me. Email me your exact client. Yeah. Okay. Age, gender, um, what they're interested in. I can. I'm going to find a lot of that out myself. But if you have anything, you know, top of mind, maybe people who are interested in Home Depot, people who are interested in do-it-yourself, you know, work-from-home type of type of building like there's so many different keywords yeah. but if you know any top you know top of mind okay. then, then email me that this is a non tech niche um david oh i bet i bet it really is i mean yeah who might mind if their guy does not want some type of portable building or some garage or shop or mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. yeah so just email me that later on, like the state or the cities or the gender or the demo, um, any type of demographics, like any type of interest. Who yeah. is that avatar? Like who is that ideal client? Right. And, and, and I can just plug that into Facebook and, and, and target that type of person. Sure. That but, we're, not, uh, we're, we're targeting the correct direction on it. Run off the gate, but, you know, run off the bat. Yeah. So – but and, and so here here's the most important here when it comes to when it comes to all this, keeping it simple on the landing page and, and taking them here to get them to opt in. That 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 that's obviously the most important and that's the most basic. Right. But what's the most important, the most most important 
is the content. So meaning right now, I'm assuming we just have one video. We need multiple videos. Bro. These videos are going to be the ads. Bro. So, well, so, you know, it's, it's kind of funny, you know, you mentioned that. I'm a little bit familiar with, with a loom. Uh, I don't really like to do videos, but uh, what I could do is I could, uh, you know, kind of show me down in the bottom left or up in the top right corner, you know, talking a little bit about how to show them how to build it themselves. Th those types of videos, Marlon, I'm telling you, those make great content. Those make great video ads. Sure. Like, like even, are you, are you near any of the, any of the projects? Or like, are you, are, or are these projects across the country in different states or? No, they're all in my backyard. Marlon, do you know how easy it would be, man? Like, this is no joke. Like, I need you to fully understand this. Do you understand how easy? Now, again, if you're, if you're camera shy, then that's one thing. But I'm telling you right now, you, don't, you better not be. Because it's easier than you could possibly imagine. Like, it's easier than you can imagine. There's no such thing as camera shy. I need you to get over that. You right. need to get over that. You need to get over it. You need to, you need to kill them butterflies. Right. Because as you make videos, no one even knows that you're nervous, for one. No, one even, no one's even judging you. No one's looking at your hair. No one cares about how you look. No, no one does, man. The thing about humans is that we care about ourselves. And, it, yeah. and, it, and as selfish as that is, it's, it's, it's human nature. I don't care about most people. I care about my damn self. I care about my family, right? So when we're seeing people on social media, we're, we're, we, if, if an individual tends to judge us, that's going to happen in the first three seconds. Sure. After that, they're no longer even looking at our damn video. No one's going to sit there for five minutes and, 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 and negatively judge you. They would have well, never, yeah. never got past the first five seconds. Yeah, well, another thing, too, is when you're doing a video, you're not videoing yourself as much as you are uh, the building going up or whatever. Yes, but, but, yeah, but, but even if you are video, videoing yourself, which I'm going to recommend, right. these people, I'm telling you, are not going to sit there for a few minutes just to negatively judge you. Right. So, so if I'm scrolling through my news feed, like if I'm oh, just scrolling through my news feed. where you're coming from now. Even the videos that you do, you're just simply doing a freaking video. You're, That's it. I see where you're coming from. So, so as I'm scrolling through my news feed. The idea is to do a freaking video. <laughs> yeah. Look, as I'm scrolling through my news feed and I'm just seeing what my friends are up to and I'm seeing what, what's going on. And then uh, all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Right. Anytime I see the word sponsored, that's an ad. Right. Well, look, let's say for, this is a one minute video. If this was you on camera and, and, and automatically, automatically it didn't grab my attention, I'm going to keep scrolling. Like I'm not going to sit there and watch you for three minutes just so I could talk some shit about you. Uh -huh. Like who, who does that? No one's going to like, especially the people that we're targeting. So we're not targeting all the social media. We're targeting, we're targeting a specific type of person. So, so is, are, are all of them going to like you? No. Are you going to grab the attention of the entire audience? No. But at the same time, I'm speaking from, from the perspective that most people are shy of the camera when you don't need to be. Because as I scroll through, I'm not even going to see more than five seconds if it didn't catch my attention. I'm going to keep going through. I'm going to keep going through. And before you know it, I don't even remember who the hell you were. Who really gives a shit? Who gives a shit? No, that's my point. No one gives a shit. Yeah, I just... But, but as content creators, which is what you're now going to be because you're creating content, right. as content creators, the thing about social media is that every single person wants to be perfect. Like they want the perfect image of them. They want the perfect video of them when no one gives a shit. Well, so let, let, me, let me say a couple of things to you, David. Okay. Number one, I just showed you a picture of a sponsored ad on this uh, next uh, page we're going to build. But back to the videos for a minute. With, with my disability that I have through the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. okay, I don't hardly go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm, I'm uh, kind of stay in my comfort zone, so to speak. Yeah. Anxiety issues out there. Want, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to do, but what I can do and what I intend to do as one of my customers, and this is getting ready to happen like four or five buildings here pretty quickly, I can send the right person over there to do a video of how that that building gets built from start to finish, you know, as they're putting it together. Yes, yes. That, that type of stuff, I'm telling you, is simple video content on your cell phone uh -huh. that yeah. make the best Facebook advertising. Well, I've got an iPad that's pretty new, and I'll send it with one of the guys that works for me and just instruct you what I want you to do is the video of the damn thing stop you know stop and then start again you know whatever you know that, that could be that could be good but 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 at the same time that's too much work what i'm suggesting is the fact and and what i'm saying is more easier than you could possibly imagine what i'm saying is the fact that even with your disabilities even with whatever insecurities you you may think you have i'm telling you right now you're fine now you may not you may not agree with me because at the same time i don't even know you Right. But from what I see, from my from a consumer's perspective, uh -huh. you're fine. I got you. I, I couldn't tell a damn thing wrong with you. Like I, like so so with that being said, I know it's super simple. It can be super simple and free uh -huh. for you to go out to any property, hold out your cell phone. And say, hey guys, this is Marlon with Staley Portable Buildings. I just want to tell you a little bit about this building that we just completed. Or I want to tell you a little bit about this building that we're about to start building. And you come out there with your cell phone, Marlon, and you give us a two-minute spill on what the hell you got going on. Hey sure. guys, and by the way, if you're interested in something like this, click the learn more button. And this is the Facebook ad. So you're nice. doing all this in the Facebook ad. Here's the learn. So here's an ad. Here's an ad nice. from Oracle. So in your video, you would say, hey, guys, and by the way, if you're interested in anything like this or you want to get some, you know, some, some prices or, some, or just want to chat on what we can do for you, click the Learn More button, and it's going to take you straight to my page where you can enter your information and, and, and get, get all the information you could possibly need. Sure. Click Learn More. Can't wait to talk to you. See you on the next page. I got you. I got you. These are simple would, videos. That would actually even work on – uh, several of the portable buildings I've got sitting around here that's already built. And, yes, Marlon. Uh, uh, do a sales pitch on trying to sell that particular building. And, and here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's not even a sales pitch. You are literally simply educating me on what the hell you got going on. Sure. It's not a pitch. It's, it's, it's educational based. You're sure. telling me about a building that's getting ready to be built. You're telling me about a building that was just completed. You're telling me, you're educating me on what the heck it was and, and what you guys are doing and, 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 and how this building is going to be able to, you know, house, you know, whatever. Like you're educating me two to three minute videos. And at the end of every video, hey guys, and don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to our page where you can design your own building now. Right, I got you. See, I got yeah. you. Right, right. These, these are right. simple... These are simple cell phone videos on your phone that you can pump out daily if you wanted to. What's so funny about the whole thing, David, is nobody's doing it. No one, Marlon. No one. And, and, and so what I'm telling you is that aside of Kartra, aside of your other website, aside of all the back end, how to run a Facebook ad, how to target, the gender we're going after, aside of all that crap, the most, most important is your content. If we can put video content out every single day, you're going to crush it. And I don't need to, we, I, I'm not saying let's put a new video out every day. I'm saying let's put a, a new video out every week. I got you. So, so your only job, your only responsibility, I got, I got this whole Kartra part covered. I got the Facebook advertising covered. Right. Your only responsibility is to produce a new cell phone video in front of a project. And I need you to do that once per week. Gotcha, gotcha. That's it. That's it. And I need you to keep it simple on your cell phone, raw, authentic. We don't need any video editing, nothing fancy on your cell phone. Sure. 
Simple, man. Simple. It makes it look so for real. That's what it is, man. Yeah. The moment you start editing, the moment you start editing, what's that? I'm on the same page with you. I know what you're saying. The, 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 The moment you start editing and making shit look pretty is the moment people start scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through. Oh, there goes another advertisement. Scrolling through. Oh, there's another advertisement. (laughs) <laughs> when, when people were we're on facebook not to see ads we're on facebook to see what our friends are up to sure and I so when that. you can just put a simple selfie raw authentic cell phone video in the mix <coughs> you blend in and that's the, the 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 art of advertising is you want it to look like a normal post right. coming from coming from someone's friend you know and and that's our cell phone that's cell phone video and, and, and that, that's, that's a huge, huge reason for my success over here so far on my YouTube channel is the fact that there ain't nothing fancy about it. I got you. Like people are relating to me because they know I'm a normal dude just like them. Right, right. But if I had all kinds of fancy editing and all this crap going on, most wouldn't even plug in. Like I'm doing a simple video from my home office, no fancy background, no editing, you know? And, and it, I, I just truly believe that because this is social media, it needs to be real and authentic. Well, you know, David, something, something else I wanted to mention to you, okay? And, and let, me, let me kind of get you to go to, uh, to uh, shedbuilder.saleeportablebuildings.com. I'm going to show you something in just a minute and, and show you I'm on the same page with you. Okay, Shed Builder. Uh, no, Shed View. Shed View. Dot. There you go. There it is. Hit enter. We'll wait till that loads. Uh, whoop. Where'd you go? There you go. I lost you somehow. You st- I'm still here. Okay. I'm trying to find you on my computer. Where the hell? I completely lost you. See if you can um, click on the Zoom icon or the Zoom. Um, oh, okay, yeah. There, there you go. I'm with you now. Okay. okay. Now, pick a state and, and, and pretend that, that I'm sitting here doing a video mm-hmm. and I'm showing people how to design their building. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and that is something that can be done with oh yeah portable buildings and i've got another configurator for the metal buildings slash cardboards oh yeah oh yeah with you with you on screen share right now walking me through the process and giving me a good three four minutes of it yeah that's a facebook ad how do i do that is what I'm, i'm i need to learn how to do that it, it's it's zoom you're you're we're already doing it like right now for example oh. i'm recording this this whole entire call uh-huh. so 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 i could take this video once we're done and i can post it wherever what i do with it is i post it on youtube oh. but but in your case it would be a much shorter video three four minutes yeah. and 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 with you on camera so now your little face is in the in the in the right hand corner of, of of the screen and, 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 that, and that's the video. Hey guys, this is Marlon. I wanted to kind of just walk you through how to build your own, your, own, your own shed and how simple this can be. Take a look at the design. Take a look at the size. Take a look at the size. The size. Hey, and by the way, if this interests you, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can design yours too. See you there. Let me just show you just for a second and you do it for me since I'm not doing it now. But uh, go over to the style on the right, the first button. And it go down three three rows down. The first one says Premier Cabin. I click that. I'll let that load just a second. Okay, now scroll down, David, on your icon. Scroll down and let's choose siding up here, right there. Click metal, and and, and that changes the. Mm-hmm. From wood to metal, okay. Mm-hmm. And then hit size down below that, and then click the size. We'll go all the way down to you know sixteen by thirty six is fine. 
Okay, and then click down where it says colors. And then we'll put uh, red building uh, next to it. The red next to it, there you go, that's it. Now we'll change, scroll on down a little further to trim, we'll make the white trim. There you go. And then scroll down to the roof, we'll make the roof white. And then take a cursor and bring it over here on the building itself and move it around. That really impresses people. Marlon, this, I'm telling you, man, three to four minute videos you do once per week. And, and now it's an educational tutorial type of video. Right. That becomes our ad. Wow. Unreal. And, and at the end of every single video, there is a call to action. Hey, guys, if you want to learn how to build your own, click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can start building your own. Can't wait to see you there. Right. Wow. That's it, man. That's it. Well, this week, while I'm, we'll, we'll pre-set up a, another appointment for next Saturday, uh, you know, if you've got time. Yeah, for sure. And I'll play with uh, Zoom a little bit and, and get kind of, can you take a second and kind of show me a little bit about what to do and how to do it on Zoom in particular? And then I'll make you some videos. Let's, uh, I mean, let me. I'll make a video a day, man. <laughs> See, and if you, well, here's the deal, man. My my YouTube channel is starting to really, really get some momentum uh -huh. because as as I start learning from other people and other mentors that I that I follow when it comes to building a YouTube channel, people that are already at, you know, 100,000 subscribers, you know, things that I can learn, I follow these different people. Uh -huh. and, and, and their whole strategy was to put out two videos a week and upload at least two videos per week and I'll start to see that channel grow. And when I, when I heard that from like one of my mentors, for example, I said, shit, the hell with that. I'm going to do one a day. Wow. And so what I've been doing since December 1st of 2019. So now we're at May, May 8th or May 9th or whatever the hell we're at. Oh. I've literally put up a video every single day. Yeah, I'm I'm first. To you and every time you, you pop one up, one came up this morning, been on there. 43 seconds and I saw yeah. it on. <laughs> every day. And, and all I'm saying with that is because, yeah, that's work ethic. Yeah. You've got some individuals that will do one a week. And then you got some people that are willing to do one day, one a day. Right, right. So, oh. so I don't want to push you too much. No, I, I sit here every day and, and uh, wait on the next customer. And I enjoy doing what I'm doing. So I'll, I'll uh, stay right on top of this with you. Take a yeah. look at my YouTube channel I put together, by the way. I need a little bit of help on it, David. Uh, go to uh, youtube.com forward slash Salim Portable Buildings. I did this. Uh, and I'm calculating mine by the week. How many cells do I need this week? The hardest part on this thing was to uh, get the uh, photo in the background. Oh, wait a minute. I'll have to shoot you a link. Let me Hang see on. If I can, um... I'll shoot you a link. Hang on. Let's see. I got it up right here. <laughs> Hang on one second. Let me see if I can maybe search it. Well, uh, it's too new to uh, connect to this Salee Portable Buildings. Is it this top one here? Uh, let me look. Yep, that's it. Okay. I built that uh, yesterday in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. I love it. Perfect. So so this video right here, that's that's all it takes, man. Now, I don't want to – you got a ton of other things going on, so I don't want to push you to one video a day, nor do we need one video a day. We don't need one video a day. We need we'll one a week. One a week or something like that for a while. If, if we can do one a week – that, that, that means that we can have a new Facebook ad running every week, which is technically every day. So four ads a month, and, and we're running one every day. Right, right. That, is, that, is there anything to this Facebook page that you think I should do differently? Oh, yeah. We have to update everything. Like these links, all these links right here need to be, need to be updated. I would I – well, The best I can for now. I worked on some of this stuff is for what I'm trying to get you to understand. Uh, 
Uh, I've got uh, the YouTube channel, Salute Portable Buildings. How do I make that uh, Salute Portable Buildings instead of what it is now? Can you go back to that a minute? This one? Yeah. So yeah, it's up there. It's got a uh, YouTube channel. And all yeah. That crap. You, you cannot customize that link until you reach 100 subscribers. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I don't know how you I don't know how you were able to customize the other one. I you might have done that before YouTube implemented that policy. Oh, probably. Because now you ha you need 100 subscribers before you can customize it. <laughs> so, I wouldn't even worry about that about listing that link right here right now. It's not even necessary. What needs to be here is Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and the .com. So that's fine. So what, what, what I can easily do for you is I can make sure that the, that the Twitter, actually it's too long for Twitter, so it's not going to fit for Twitter, but the LinkedIn, have that up here. You already have the Instagram customized. I would take out th this one right here. I would take out the re residualpreneur. I would take yeah. out the YouTube. Okay. And then up here, I would include a Facebook business page for Saley Portable Buildings. Okay. This one right here is not the link. So if I click on that link, it's not taking me to a page. I got you. So we need, we need. Um, those uh, platforms. What's that? Can you help work on the platforms? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let me, um, but here's what I also want to do. Do you have a business page set up yet? Yes. What's the, what's the business page? It's uh, facebook.com forward slash Shedview dot Salute Portable Buildings. Okay, let's see if this is it. okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, so what what I would do is I would simply match this username with what you have as your dot com. Okay. So and and for what you have as your Instagram. And for what you would have with your LinkedIn. Okay. So, so, so for you example. Build me new ones from scratch, or you no, didn't... no. I could just customize everything. I could just log into your existing ones, and and change the username, just like you did with Instagram. Yeah, I got you. So, so for example, no. I want this up here. This is the username. Okay. So every platform you have the title. This is the title. Saley Portable Buildings. That's the title. But then we also have the at sign. That's the username. Okay. I what I want to do is I want to customize the username. Gotcha. The usernames right here. These links are the usernames. Now that's not the one for YouTube, but there's your username for Twitter. Um, and then there's your username for Instagram. So I want to just be able to match everything. I want, I want the dot com to match the Instagram, right. which it does. So on Twitter, we we'll just take Twitter out. We just take. Let's take Twitter out. Let's take out YouTube. Let's take out Residualpreneur. And and here's what I would do. Also, here's here when it comes to other opportunities, and when it comes to just social media. When it comes to social media, when it comes to other income opportunities, we have our one bread and butter. Like right. your portable homes, that's your daytime business. That's your bread and butter. Right. That's the income generating nut, right? That's where our income is coming from. The other stuff couldn't happen if it wasn't for that. Yeah, exactly. So I would go all in and create this social media brand around that. Okay. And then anyone that comes into my world through that, then I can share other opportunities with. And to tell you the truth, it's exactly what you did, and it's exactly how you did it to me. Right. We jumped on the first call initially talking about Kartra, and then all of a sudden you brought up on passive. Right. Same thing. So, so you didn't, you didn't promote yourself on social media as this on passive guy. You oh. promoted yourself or you actually reached out to me all about Kartra. Sure. And so, so with social media, your branding is everything. When <laughs> people come here, show me one damn thing. Uh -huh. Don't show me multiple opportunities. Uh -huh. Now I'm already confused. Yeah, they got real confused. Yeah. But, but, but as I come into your world on the portable buildings, for example, then, then you can bring up anything else you got going on. Sure. You know, so gotcha. all this needs to match in, yeah. in my professional opinion. Um, so if we get done, I'll kill uh, 
Twitter, YouTube, and Residualpreneur, and then yeah. you take it from there. If you yeah. need login information, yeah, I'll need I'll need login for information for that, and then and then this page over here. Not only are we going to list all the links over here, so in the intro, all those links will be matching. Yeah. But also over here in the about section, uh, this is where we want to list everything as well. So when people click about, I want them seeing the dot com, which is right there. I want them seeing Instagram. I want them seeing LinkedIn. So, gotcha. so those links would be right here as well. Gotcha. That's number one. And then number two, rather than seeing 10 likes, I want them seeing a few thousand. Gotcha. So for example, with my page, like if you come to my personal page, here's what I call step one. Here's the basic link customization everything is one damn damn name wow but then when you click on my business page you come over here to my business page and then if anybody wants to do their due diligence and look more into me they're going to click about and they'll they'll find out okay who who's this guy david inspired digital who the heck is him let me click about let me find out what's going on and then what they're seeing right away is everything under one name my twitter my dot TV, my email, my Instagram, all of that is matching all one name. Right. But then also when they come over here and click about rather than me showing them, you know, 10 likes or whatever, they come over here and they're scrolling down to see who David is. Let me plug in my computer. Yeah. This is, this is what I'm referring to. So as they come over here to the home page of the business page. Now yours doesn't have to be this, this extensive, but, but this is basic as they're scrolling through the homepage and they're scrolling down, they're scrolling down to see who David is and what, what he's posting and what kind of stuff he got going on. And then what they see rather than seeing 10 likes, they're seeing 10,000. Wow. Exactly. So right, right before you even see anything about me, Marlon, right before you even see my first post and see who the hell this guy is, you're seeing 10,000 and right away you say, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's the first impression. And so, then all so, these so, people, all I these, David, what's I that? Idea, man. All these people that log in uh, to my page that, we, you know, I just built and that you're fixing. Uh, wouldn't it be a way that we could get them to like uh, my business page? Oh yeah, for sure. But, but at the same time, the likes, that's not really where our leads are going to be coming from. So, oh. so, so what I do is I normally take a person in, in three steps, three steps, step one. And, and this is for an individual like you that is just automatically thinking, let's, let's get some leads and let's start, let's start closing some deals. That's going to happen, but that's not, that's not yet right now. It's step one. Wow. Step one is listing all those links. So our brand looks good. Right. Step two is running a simple Facebook ad to take your likes up, not to 10,000, just take it up a little bit, take it up a few thousand. Sure. That's step two. That's not where our leads are coming from. That's not a lead ad. People are not going to be come coming over to the, to the landing page. It's not a lead ad. It's a like ad. Right. It's to simply take the like count up a little higher. That's what I call step two, because when I start running ads to Arkansas and we start running ads to, to, to the other state, what was the other one? Oh. what's that oh. Oklahoma as we start to run ads over there that's what I call step three but step two is this Facebook ad first step two is the like ad we need to take that up a little higher because as I start to run ads to Oklahoma and 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 Arkansas I want them to land on your page because they're going to start seeing ads they're going to come to the page to see who, who you are before they even click on learn more to come to give up their name and email a lot of people are going to click on your business page to see who the hell you are first. Yeah, yeah. And so when they come here, I want them seeing 3,500. I want them saying, wow, this guy must be, busy, must be in business for a while now. He must know what the hell he's doing. That's, that's the first impression. So I want to give off that perception, that wow factor. I want that to be there because if they can see that big number, they're going to know I mean business. Sure. But, but if I come to the page and I see 10, I'm going to be like, damn, this guy probably just started. Sure. So instantly I'm discrediting you. And, and, and for all, all, all we know, 
is that you could be doing this for the past 35 years. You could be the best in your business. But the thing about social media, no one knows that. Nobody really knows it, yeah. No one knows Marlon. No one knows David. I was getting ready to say, people don't know who I am or what's going on with me and, and don't realize what I can do mm -hmm. as far as uh, uh, tweaking things around to where they're not just going to some place and buying any old building that's there that they kind of like when they could be buying something they – they had to do just a little bit to it, customize it for them, mm -hmm. customize the whole nine yards, and people don't realize things like that. They they or, don't. They or they fancy or rent to own or yeah. how to get it. So so for them to even ever have a chance to learn any of that stuff about you, I'm gonna win their attention when they see that big number right away. Well, I've been looking for somebody like you for the last 20 freaking years, man. <laughs> you tell me, buddy. I've been looking for someone like you for the last 20 years. Shit. Is that right? <laughs> Seriously, man. It goes, it's, it's mutual. It goes both ways. It well, sure does. It is kind of phenomenal uh, business to be in. I mean, we're talking about uh, these portable buildings, but when it comes to these metal buildings, David, they are a super selling son of a bitch. You wouldn't bet. believe it. I bet. And, and, and making the money on them things, my God. And see, so now, now it just comes down to producing video content where we can now, and that's the thing about social media. When we, when we start to put stuff out on social media, here's the thing about social media. You have social media and then you have paid ads. Those right. are two different things. Right. Social media, as we start to get more friends over here, right? As you start to take your friend count up and you start to request a bunch of friends over here. Uh -huh. These are folks that are going to live around the world. These are folks that are going to live across the country. Like, like you're not just requesting or accepting people that live in Arkansas or Oklahoma. As you start to request a ton of people, which you should be doing, these are folks that are all across the country. So uh -huh. as you start to post this type of stuff, Nine out of 10 of your friends, as you take the friend count up to a, a thousand, as you take your friend count up to 1500, up to like, like where I'm at today, as you take your friend count up, look at my friend count. It's at 5,000. As you take your friend count up and it doesn't matter if it's Facebook, if it's LinkedIn, if it's Twitter, if it's Instagram, it does not matter. I'm referring to social media. As wow. you take that friend count up, 99% of them are going to live across the country. Right. So as you start to post stuff like this, not many folks are going to care. Number one, because they're not in that state. Right. I'm not in Oklahoma. I'm not in Arkansas. I'm in California. Right. But I'm friends with, with Marlon on Facebook, or I like his business page, but I'm not even in the market. Right. So that's social media. What most business owners try to do is they try to come over here and post on social media when they're only doing business in one state. Yeah, they're kind of shitting in the wind. They're shitting in the wind. They're throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. And guess what? Ain't nothing sticking. That's right. Okay, so, 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 so it's not social media. Now, do we need to be on social media? Yes, because it gives us credibility. It gives us social proof because as we start to do business with people in Arkansas and Oklahoma, they're going to come over here to our Facebook page. They're going to come to our business page. We want to show them that big number. We want to show them all of our links. We want to let, let people know that we're in business. Yeah. But that's not necessarily where our business is going to come from. Our business is going to come from when we start running Facebook ads to Arkansas and Oklahoma. In our backyard. That's it. And, and when I start running an ad and taking them to this landing page, that's where my leads are coming from. Sure. Bottom line. So it ain't, it ain't about posting all over social media. Now, the links, again, I want them up so we look professional. I want that 10 to be at 1500 so wow. we look professional but the real roi is step three step one is the links step two is a simple ad to take that number up and then step three is laser focused targeted lead ads going straight to this page that's our roi that's where we're going to spend our time that's where we're going to spend our money is on those types of ads going straight here sure. and i'm telling you all it's going to take is one video per week i want to hook you up that's it man one video per week.
And so now it just comes down to our budget. Like what, what, and, and here's the way I look at it. When it comes to selling a product, which is what you, you're, you're doing, you're literally selling a physical product. The way you have to start looking at it as far as, and, and, and I'm sure you already do. When it comes to any type of, of marketing, for example, what do we make per deal? And how much of that are we going to put back into marketing? What yep. I always say is we have to be putting back at least, and, and you operate your business the way you operate your business. You're, you've been successful forever. So you know your numbers better than anything. But the way I look at numbers as well, and how I've always looked at numbers when it comes to marketing, I've always looked at it from whatever the hell I make per deal. Like for example, I was in mortgages. So, so if I'm making, whenever I fund a new deal, and in and, and, and the mortgage industry, if I'm making 10,000 per deal, 30% 30, 30 of it would go back into my monthly marketing budget. Right. So that'd be three grand. I, I would be spending three grand per month as a mortgage guy because I'm making 10,000 per deal. I mean, you're just kind of like tripping over a nickel to make a dollar. Right. So, so, so not everyone looks at it that way. People are like, okay, David, I make 10 grand per deal, but shit, I don't know if I want to spend 500 to make it happen. It's like, okay, shit, you must be a rookie. You must just be, I don't know what, what you're thinking. If you think you, if, if you're afraid to spend 500 to make 10 grand, you might not be the person, you know, you might not be ready for advertising, buddy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I speak to real estate agents that are in that, in that same position where they're making seven, eight, nine grand per deal, but they're afraid to spend 200 bucks on a Facebook ad. That's crazy. It's like, what the hell? Like, you must not be looking at this well, the right way. Let me, let me say something to you, David, about that particular aspect of it, okay? I'm 63 years old, and I realize that it's all about one thing. And guess what that is? Advertising. That's it, man. Advertise, then who the hell is going to know who you are? And, How do you expect to sell anything? And, and what's so crazy today, Marlon, with you being this much of a veteran and being this, this successful for so long, with you being at this age that you are today in 2020, what, what, what I, because I've been studying marketing for the past 20, 25 years, marketing is all I've really done, um, online marketing. Yeah. You have, you have online marketing and then you have, and then you have social media marketing today if we're going to do any type of marketing, it's social media marketing and it's Facebook alone with Facebook alone. You could, you could turn this business into a seven, eight figure business. I just sent you on, uh, let me show you something right quick, David on uh, messenger. Take a look at that ad that I sent you. I uh, want to talk about that for a minute. Now this is a YouTube ad that I sent you. And we can go on, since we perfect this thing a little bit further, we can go on to uh, Instagram ads, mm -hmm. uh, YouTube ads, yep. uh, so on and so forth. There you go. There, there's the perfect ad for a big carport company, okay? Well, let me explain to you about these carports, okay? All of them have the name like Carport Central, Viking Steel Structures, Coast to Coast, and they're advertising their keyword is carports. But the carports, you can make a steel building out of the carport structure. You said I'm getting that? Oh, yeah. So uh, that's, that's exactly what our ad will look, back, will look like or similar to uh, when we go to do a Facebook ad for the carports slash steel buildings, okay? Perfect, perfect. Either so I, I captured that today and wanted to send it to you so you could see kind of like what an ad looks like for the big guys. Man, I'm telling you, you're going to – I mean, if that's the goal for you to be a big guy, we're going to be a big guy pretty fast because there ain't nothing to that right there. <laughs> well, it's funny that I'm not a manufacturer. I'm just simply a dealer. Matter of fact, I'm a dealer for these people here, you know, but I don't, I concentrate on uh, one or two other companies mm -hmm. that I get along a little bit better with. But if I build 
say, for example, that first building there on the left, the red looking building, mm -hmm. if I build that building and sell it to a customer and let's say that building's 30 grand, what's 15% of 30 grand? 15% of 30 grand, what would that be? I'm just showing you my numbers. 4,500? That's how much I made on that building, David. See, I'm telling you. So, if, it's if, if and and you take you take 4,500. Let's just go with let's just go with let's just go with 20 percent. Like 4,500 times 20 percent. If we're dumping 20 percent, if we're dumping 900, if we're dumping a thousand a month into Facebook advertising, Marlon, that's how that's how I would be looking at it. Yeah. Like I would have to put in at least I'd be willing to put in at least a thousand a month. To, to bring me back a new deal. Yeah, when I wanted to show you the numbers on the thing, or the kind of money that I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tripping over a nickel to make a dollar here, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I want to go forward with you and really get you to understand where I'm coming from on it because there's a lot of money in it. If I made $4,500 on that deal, what if I did 10 deals in a, in a, in a day? <laughs> I mean, that, that'd be insane if you can handle that type of volume. Now let, me, now, let me say this. If you compare this to real estate, okay, real estate, you make higher amounts of money, okay? I was in it for a long time. You know, there's one property that I bought, and uh, I made 100 grand on the damn thing. Mm. You know, and I, I, I uh, did a lot split on the lot next to the left of it. And I did a lot split on the 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 uh, acre on the right side of it that had a garage on it. Mm -hmm. I sold the house by itself after I did the lot splits on the left and right side of it. Still made a hundred grand. But the point I'm making to you is there's a lot of money in this business with portable buildings or carports. Okay. And see, so I would, I would just look at this just as, as, as obviously increasing, increasing volume for sure. But even starting small, like even thinking small, like if we just, if we turned, if we turned a thousand a month in advertising into an extra deal per month, that alone, like, I'm just trying to say, if we look at the worst case scenario. Yeah, it pays for itself. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. Like, like worst case scenario, if we brought in an extra deal a month that's a pretty damn good ROI. Right. If we brought in a couple of deals per month, then we're way, way, way in right. the black. So I'll tell, you, I'll tell you another reason why I've got to get this down and tweak it around, maybe get you to help me with all these uh, social media platforms and, and get the, the uh, pages built right in Kartra and, and do the right kind of advertisement in, in the Facebook ads or whichever ads we, we, you know, if we go into YouTube and, and uh, Instagram ads or whatever we end up doing, uh, this thing is going to be like unbelievable on making money because no one, number one, can I show you something a minute? Yes. Okay. Go to uh, uh, Carports, uh, Van Buren, Arkansas. I mean, Google, I'm sorry. Okay, carports. Carports, uh, Van Buren, Arkansas. V-A-N-B-U-R-E-N, -E two words. Van, okay, got it. Now scroll down, you've got your ads at the top, you've got your little, uh, See, the, those are, that's me, by the way. Uh, the next one down is me, by the way. <laughs> See, and here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. This website button, it yeah. needs to go to your landing page. Okay. That needs to be changed out because right now it's going to your website. Like, no, let's take it to a landing page. We okay. need to capture the lead. No problem. Now scroll on. I'll do that. Scroll on down just a little bit. What's the first one you see right there? Vikings. Click it. Now, 
let it, let it uh, load a minute, get rid of that pop-up. See at the very top right here where it says uh, metal car ports, Van Buren, Arkansas? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Now scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to show you something you might not have known yet. So all the way to the very bottom. Okay. Back up just a little bit. Look at all the different cities that's connected to this thing. A little bit further. Gotcha. Okay. See all, see all those cities? Those are the entire total amount of cities in Arkansas. Okay. So, so these are your, okay, so these are all cities in Arkansas. Gotcha. Okay. Click on Little Rock right there to the left of your cursor. Click on that one. So is Viking your manufacturer? Is that your partner? Uh, let me show you something. Now see that shows Little Rock at the top? Yeah. Yeah, well, what they did, what they did was they mass produced the same page and renamed it whatever city mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the whole state of Arkansas. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well, then they connected it to the website and go back to Google, just back up a page. Take, take it a minute. One more back up. Now we're, we're back where we started. Now, well, well, they're doing the same thing to my website as what Viking's doing, okay? But to show you again, scroll down past Viking and go to the next one, Corkport Central. Click on that one a minute. <coughs> You see at the very top there, carports, Van Buren, Arkansas. See it? Mm -hmm. Okay, scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm doing this, there you go, right there. See all the different cities in Arkansas? Yeah. So I'm, I'm in the middle of my uh, website. People did the same exact thing for me. Now you can go back to Google for a minute, back up a page, and I'll show you what I'm getting at. Okay, now scroll up just a little bit, David. Uh, a little bit further. Okay, good, right there. At the very top where you typed in carports in Van Buren, Arkansas. You see? Mm -hmm. where, you, where you typed it in Google? Right there, okay? Anybody, for example, that's in Fayetteville, Arkansas or Little Rock, Arkansas, if they're looking for a, a metal building or a cardboard, when they, let's say they're in Little Rock and they type in cardboards, Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, scroll down a little bit to, to the, uh, underneath the three main businesses, local businesses. I'm gonna show up right there where Viking is. Okay. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. The point I'm gonna make is anybody in any city in the state of Arkansas and Oklahoma, by the way, that are that is in any of those cities, when they type in portable building or they type in carport, metal building, when they type those things in, I'm going to be right there on top of uh, Viking Steel Structures. Awesome. Which is going to get me to where I changed the website, like you were just saying, to the link. Mm -hmm. To the page, yeah. And more, more money, more, more deals will be happening. You got Google on one end, and you got you got Facebook ads on the other. Right. So, I mean, yeah. Now it just it just comes down to your budget. Like, what's our budget? Like, what's your monthly budget for for just Facebook ads? Karcher, that's a one time thing. I mean, once you once you have your Karcher system set up. It's just it's just little ma managing it, and that's it. You can do that on your own. You're not going to need a Karcher guy really. Do I have for, for Facebook ads? Yeah, like what's our budget for the Facebook ads? Two, three grand a month, starting right now. <laughs> yeah, we could we could absolutely crush it. I mean, if you did that right now, we would start crushing it in the next next. I mean, it, it would come down to the first video, like or the first ad. Let's get that bad boy out like as soon as possible. And I'm telling you, keep it simple. We can put out images <coughs> if you want, like that other image, the carport image, but. You on video is the best, Marlon. 
I got you. You on video is the best. Like, Let me just explain my finances to you a little bit better, even, okay? I'm 100% VA dis, dis, disabled. Mm -hmm. I get a, a little over three grand a month, and I live off of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have no problems. The money that I make on selling these buildings, I can dump it all into it because I see that I can afford to do it because of the money I, I can potentially make. So then you're, you're making approximately 45, let's just call it 45 per deal. Yeah. So 40, 45, uh, 10, 15 deals a month. <laughs> 45. Let's just see what, what is 30 of. Yeah. See, you'd be I am in a meeting. Can I call you back? Okay, Dave, go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean you. It, it's it's up to you, but even even thirty percent is is thirteen. Let's just call it let's just call it fifteen hundred a month. Yeah, you could start at, at that at that fifteen a month, and 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 we can scale up from there. Like you don't have to necessarily put in all three right now. Sure, it's up to you. But even at fifteen would get us a good comfortable start. Yeah, we can uh, we can go up as we grow a little bit with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because thirty percent of forty five is 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 twelve five. So let's just call it fifteen and I can I can help you with this. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So then I do that every month starting now. Okay, perfect. Should I just use the same card that's on file? Uh well I'll probably need a day or two to uh, maybe by Wednesday if that's cool with you. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Let's just call it 15 and let's run with that for the first 30 days and, and, and scale up from there. And now the next thing I need to ask you about is what's the cost on getting these social media platforms done? And then what would be the cost on building the two different pages, one for the portable buildings and one, the other one, you know, that we talked about for the uh, metal buildings. What, what I would rather have you do is just maybe we'll put a lot of that. I'll give you any random number or give me your number, your budget, because really what I want to do with that is I want to, yeah, take the time to put up all the links, but also put the majority of that towards running this like ad. Yeah. I want to run that like ad as soon as possible. For the first 30 days, I'd like to just really focus on getting ready to run the ad than running yeah. and And in the first 30 days, we can clean up the pages and we can run this like ad. Well, let's put a grand into that on all of it. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that, and then um, was that enough? No, that's perfect. Yeah, I would. To tell you the truth, that would take that up by thousands. Like we'd probably be, we'd probably even be at ten thousand. To tell you the truth, I could probably take that up pretty high at that budget. Yeah. So, for the first thirty days, let's just work on the social media platforms and getting all of everything we needed to get done and cards are done. Perfect. So we're really prepared to run the Facebook ads. And then at, after that, then we'll start in on 1500 a month, you know, and just go. Sounds good. Sounds good. For I'm, I'm, I'm kind of funny about cross T's and dot and I's. Uh, no, I'm the same way. I'm, right. <laughs> I'm the same way. Should I'm we right. start on Wednesday or do you want me to start that ad tonight? What's that? The thousand. Should we start that on Wednesday? Yeah, that'd be fine. And you can trust me. You can work on whatever you need to work on and it'll be there. Sounds good. Just yeah. email me, email me, login, the login information for your social media platforms. Let's start there. Okay. Just email me your LinkedIn, your, your, all David, I really need is your Facebook and your LinkedIn. If you need anything though, David, between, um, you know, we can always set up a Zoom call, but if you need anything, just, Message me on Messenger or whatever you need as you're working on it. I'll yeah. try to produce it as quick as I can. Sounds good. Right now, we'll focus on the social media links. So send me yeah. all your login for, for that. It, really, all I need is the login for Facebook and the login for LinkedIn. Okay, let me do this too. Let me get you, uh, let me think for a minute. Let me Let me go ahead and have you take 300 off of a card now so you can go ahead and get started 
and feel comfortable. And then Wednesday, I'll do the other 700. It's whatever you want to do, Marlon. I, I'm comfortable with you, whatever you want to do. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be now. It could be Wednesday. I just want to make sure you're, you're cool and can go forward like right now and not be waiting on anything and know you're going to get your money. No, it's not about that. I trust you. But really, I wanted to start the ad. Like, I want to be able to start this like ad because to tell you the truth, by Wednesday, today's Saturday. By yep. Wednesday, if I start that ad tonight, by Wednesday, that number could be well past 3,000. Okay, can you send it to me and show it to me before you do? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, let's what just do is I'm gonna I'm gonna grab an image of some or or if you have any any images of of the sheds, Facebook has a ton of images. I was gonna grab just a nice one. I've got and, all the images you need. Hang on just a minute. Send me, me some images. Go to just, go to my uh, go to saliveportablebuildings dot com for a moment. <laughs> As soon as I hang up with you on the phone, David, I'm going to go in there and figure out what all my login information is on what platforms do you want? Just Facebook and LinkedIn. Facebook and LinkedIn? That's it. Okay. Because I'm going to customize the LinkedIn okay. username right. and then I need to log into Facebook so I can add myself to the business page. Okay. Uh, on... Uh, Let's see. I'm trying to scroll on down. Okay, there's just some photos. I got all those photos right there. Okay. And okay. other. That's just on the portable buildings. Okay. I'll send you the ad. I'll I'll set up the ad tonight, and I'll send you I'll send you a snapshot. Anything anything important like that, like as far as images, links, or or social media login, just email them, not Facebook message. Okay. No problem. That way I can I could I can start a file and just keep everything in my inbox. Sound great. I appreciate it. Perfect. So I'll put, I'll put toward, should I just use the same card on file for the three? Cause I want to start that ad tonight. Or do you have a different card? Which one did I give you? I don't know. I just know that through the credit oh, card. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, ends in uh, 3808. Okay. Is that one the one you had? I'll, I'll check and I'll, I'll message you if, if that's the question. Sure it was. Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit three on that and then I'll give you uh, a different card on Wednesday. Sounds good. Just yeah, um, I, go back I, to the link, the calendar link, and just ske schedule the time for Wednesday, whatever is best for you. Okay, where do I do that at right quick? I'll email you the link. Okay, yeah, email me the link. And what I want to do on the 700 is just simply tell you on the phone or tell you on a Zoom call instead of putting that on. Uh, Perfect. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, sounds good. I like sounds to good. myself in person is what I'm trying to say. No, for sure. For sure. So I'll get as much started today. I have, I have login for your car tour already. So I'll, I'll start working on the thank you page and the calendar pages today. Yeah. And then I'll get that like ad started tonight and then we'll chat on Wednesday. Sounds really good. Okay, buddy. I appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate you spending the time that you spent with me today, man. It means a lot. You're more than welcome. It's mutual. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll chat okay. Wednesday. I think I'll be able to make a lot of money with these buildings. There's a lot of money in that shit, isn't there? I, I, and that's why number one reason why Facebook ads is because of the ROI. So whenever I work with someone, that's why I work with real estate agents because the ROI is there. All uh, they got to do is sell one damn deal and it justifies how much we're, we're spending. Well, you can make a lot of money with a house, 20, 30 grand. Well, well even with you in this case, oh. I always look at big, I always look at the profit. I always look at like the, I always look at that price point. Right. So that, that versus versus working with someone that's selling maybe some necklaces on Amazon and, and they're selling the damn necklace for $3. It's like, shit, I can't help you. <laughs> I hear you. But well, a person that has a good price point, it's like, man, we can really do some, some big things. Yeah. Well, that said, person is, is knows that person is willing to spend because they know the profits there. Right. right. And, and it doesn't take 10 deals a month to justify it. It takes one damn deal a month. Yeah. It's not tripping over a nickel to make a dollar. Right. So, Sold, I'm excited for this, man. I sold as much. I sold, uh, I, I would make as much there as I would if I sold a house. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and that's why at the end of it all, one video per week, Marlon. One video per week. If we could just put up. Good. I'm going to get you to help me get back into real estate arena. Let, let's, let's crush this first and then we'll work on everything else. Sound good, man. Sound okay, good. my friend. Have a great weekend. Let's chat Wednesday. I'll email you my calendar link. Thank, thank you very much, buddy. Okay, you're so welcome. Bye-bye.